Okay, container friends, let's talk about uh, how I'm doing the initial installation of insulation in here um, and also securing the two by four. So uh, got the, just the corrugated sides. Um, I bought this uh, Prodex insulation. It's roll insulation. It's closed cell foam with um, aluminum front and back. It's claimed to be R22. Eliminates condensation, high R value, all that fun stuff. And it's pretty light, about a half inch thick. So I use double stick tape to attach it to the sides. Um, and then I put a two by four seal plate down, attach it with screws to the floor. And then the top plate, um, I just get two by fours. I'm using a 10 footers. I buy these angle brackets from Home Depot. Attach the angle brackets with just an inch and five eighths screws to the two by four. And then use a stealth tapping screw to attach the other side of the angle to the container. It sinks right into that, I think it's like a two by two, two liter steel on the top. And it just, uh, that uh, self tapping screw sinks right into it really easily. Then I come back, after I get the top seal in, I put the Prodex on. Then I let the Prodex hang down all the way to the floor. And then I put the two by four bottom plate on and push the Prodex up to the top, but on to, up to the uh, corrugated side. And then I come in and put the two by fours down. I use the same brackets just cause it's easier. And just using brackets top and bottom rather than using nails and uh, through the top plate and bottom plate in the uh, studs. These are two feet apart for two feet insulation. 24 inch insulation. Here's my electrical panel. This is coming in from the uh, main power pole outside. Uh, underground, two inch conduit up into this sub panel with uh, 12 breaker slots. That's all I got going. So I think I'll be done with both sides of this tonight. It goes along pretty fast once you get going. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.